Hi folks and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. The Dodge Durango here has all the makings of a great tow vehicle, but up until now you had to go up to the SRT performance version to be able to tow the most. Well, obviously they realized that wasn't a smart thing and that's why this exists. That is the Dodge Durango Tow and Go. It can tow up to 8,500 pounds and it uses that 5.7 liter Hemi V8 and you know we're gonna test it. So in this video, we'll hit the road empty to see how this thing goes and then we'll put the trailer on to see how it tows. Start this one with the walk around. So under the hood of this Durango is the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Now in this package, it makes 360 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque sent through an eight speed transmission. And once again, obviously buyers wanted this V8, but they wanted that higher tow rating. And just a reminder, I actually goofed up in the intro. It's 8,700 pounds of towing not just 8,500 pounds. So this is the tow and go package. And basically what Dodge has done is they took a lot of those SRT goodies and they brought them down to this model. Easily though, the most functional upgrade here, the brakes. You're getting those upgraded SRT Brembo brake calipers. And that's really going to help with your stopping power when you put a big trailer behind here. The other upgrades in the tow and go package include a set of 20 inch aluminum wheels, Pirelli Scorpion Zero performance all season tires, Bilstein SRT active damping high performance suspension, an electronic limited slip differential, a performance exhaust, which you can hear in a minute. Of course you get that trailer hitch. You do get an integrated trailer brake controller. You get some wide body fender flares to make this thing look a little bit better. Some new drive modes including a towing mode, which we'll cover more in a minute, SRT active noise cancellation, and automatic headlamp leveling. Now I've already told you 8,700 pounds of towing, but what is the payload? Well, here on our Durango today on the Door Jam sticker, we're talking about 1,200 pounds of payload, which is pretty good. If you load up that max trailer, 8,700 pounds, that's 870 pounds off of your payload. Uh, that still leaves you with 300 and change to play around with. Well, folks, again, it's time for Does Steve Fit? Well, let's take a peek at the rear end of this Durango. Now, as we have it here today, this is a six seater because we have these captain's chairs and the back row is only two seats back there. Now we'll climb in here. This is uh, just over 38 inches of leg room and I fit really well. Enough headroom, I stand at about six foot two, uh, enough knee room here. Now, one thing I was surprised at is these suits are, seats are not adjustable. I cannot move forward or back. And that's actually becoming really common in SUVs and crossovers these days. These seats don't do that. And I can actually show you why right now, because when it's time to get into the back, these guys tumble and flip forward so that's hard mounted down there on the front. And you know what, I'll even climb into the back for you guys. This is just 31 inches of leg room back here. So no surprise that it's going to be pretty tight. My shoes are basically under the seat in front of me. But here we go, I'm in. And you know what, I have just enough headroom. Like I am rubbing, but it would just be enough. Leg room leaves something to be desired. I could sit back here on a short trip, but I think it's safe to say the third row is for teenagers, kids, and people you don't like. Now to get out, <coughs> grab that handle tumbler forward and I will say it gets out of the way for you pretty well and you can hop out. All right dad you've got the performance exhaust on this thing and I want to hear it so fire it up. Ready. Now we're out here in the Durango, we've got an empty road in front of us and we want to see 
the zero to 100 kilometer an hour time or zero to 60 miles an hour. So dad's got her preloaded. Let's see what it does. Woo! There you go. So that was an 8.3 zero to 100 kilometer an hour measured by the performance pages. And the cool thing here is that once we get that trailer hooked up 7,000 pounds, we'll be able to use the performance pages and uh, do another zero to 100 time. So we'll really be able to see the difference towing versus not. Well, you saw it there. This thing is pretty quick when you jump off the line. And now we're just out here cruising on the highway. And once you get it out here, it's a nice big comfortable cruising SUV. Um, the performance exhaust sounds amazing when you put your foot into it, but what I really like that is right now you don't hear it. And that's in my mind exactly what you want. When you're accelerating hard, you want to hear it, but then when you're just cruising, just go away. I don't want to be annoyed. So I think they nailed that and dang does it ever sound good. Um, the other thing I want to bring up is, is this interior change that came along for 2021 as well. Not huge, but they massage some things. The screen's a little different. It's nice incorporated here uh, these buttons down here are new it's nice that they have the mix of screen and buttons uh, I like the hard point buttons for your drive modes that's kind of different most brands have a knob or a dial for those so yeah I think considering this is such an old product Durango this platform's been around for a while they've done just enough here to keep it feeling kind of modern uh, but yeah you're driving what do you feel I think I've always liked about Durango compared to a lot of the stuff in this segment is that it tends to drive more like a car. It sits way lower. You sit lower. Mm. It, it feels much more planted and like I said, I, I think it earlier I, I mentioned to me, this is more of a station wagon and Dodge might get angry at me, but uh, sorry, that's what it reminds me of. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. It, it works, right? It houses a whole bunch of people and all your stuff keeps everything out of the rain. And on the other hand, it's, it's quite pleasant to drive. Uh, it's not overly big and trucky yet that tow rating is wild so we'll see how that goes in a bit yeah exactly that's uh that's what i'm most curious about so let's stick the trailer on now and we'll really see how she works all right time to back into our trailer here now so i can show you the camera system here on the durango and this is one area where the durango really lacks that rear camera that's the only view you get there's no zoom in there's nothing else on this screen going on and this is really where the Durango starts to show its age. When you get into a new Ram 1500 or even a Jeep Grand Cherokee, those things are packed with cameras. The Durango here, you still just get one camera. Although I guess to be fair, it's enough for dad to be able to hook up the trailer. Boom. Well, now we've got the weight hooked up behind us and that is 7,000 pounds. So we are actually getting pretty close to the limit here on this Durango. Now, I mentioned off the top all of those changes. Um, the bigger brakes, of course, is a big deal. You gotta be able to stop whatever you're towing. But the one that I'm feeling from the passenger seat here, Dad, is the uh, adaptive suspension. So the suspension in here is actually able to, you know, stiffen up or soften up, depending on what's going on. We have it in tow mode, and everything feels like it kind of stiffened up a little bit. And it feels really good to me. It feels nice and tight and like it's handling the corners really well. Um, but yeah, that's from over here. What are you feeling? It's very solid. And I love the feeling that, you know, this low feeling. Mm. Um, I used to take a lot of heat for the fact that back in the day, I said, you know what? Minivans are actually a, a really good tow vehicle because of how low and long they are. And that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here right now. I mean, there's just no body roll whatsoever. Yeah, no, there really isn't. And that is compared to something like a Tahoe. I think that's the one I brought up off camera. Yeah, the Tahoe, you step up into it. We've towed now with quite a few Tahoes. They, they tow really well too, but there is more of that body roll. You are a little bit higher. It just, yeah, it has that feeling. This, this doesn't have it. All right, now we can take a look at our fuel economy while towing. We did 18.9 liters per hundred over almost 40 kilometers and I don't think it's any surprise to anyone this Hemi is going to be thirsty 
and now we switched over the units here and one cool thing on the Durango if you notice here it still says we did 37.3 kilometers but now it's saying we did 12.3 mpg you can actually switch your distance units separately from your fuel consumption unit I'm not sure why anyone would ever want this <laughs> but it's interesting and now you know we did 12.3 mpg and we just lost a tick there because we're sitting here idling we're gonna try 0 to 60 with our trailer on it says ready, we should be good. Ten seconds. Time's, time's out, out at ten seconds. <laughs> so you cannot take longer than ten seconds to use it. Okay, well I guess we are gonna have to use my phone on this one. <laughs> yeah, I guess they never considered that some some idiots would want to do zero to sixty with a seven thousand pound trailer. Yeah, that that didn't cross their minds. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. All right. Okay, we're gonna try zero to one hundred. Load it up. This time using the phone app. And ready for the race. Hit it. a 17.8 0 to 100 and consider that we did an 8.3 unloaded so that actually doubled the time a little more than doubled 0 to 100 and if you're curious how that stacks up we always tow 7,000 pounds with all our half tons so you can see how this thing compares straight up on the leaderboard Well, folks, that's the end of this video. I don't think you can really argue with this package. If you want to tow the most with a Durango, Dodge has now made that more accessible. And as tow vehicles go, this is a solid one. Well, of course, now I want to hear from you. So go below, let us know in the comments what you think of the Durango Tow and Go. As always, while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member of the channel, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See ya.